What's going on guys? Welcome back over to the Plaguing Outdoorsman channel. Austin here again. Um, getting out to the woods. I just got out here. It's not quite 6.30 yet. Um, so I'm going to get out there, get set up. Sunrise is about 7.20ish. So I'm going to get out there before it's light out yet and uh, get everything set up and up in the tree. So we can see stuff moving around as uh, light gets light out. Um, it's 32 degrees right now, so right at freezing temperature. Deer should be moving around. We got a good cold front this weekend. It's finally not raining anymore. It rained for about two straight days. Um, so that's good news. We can actually get out here as I'm not about to be sitting out here in the rain. Um, so yeah, I'm basically just going to get out there, get set up, and I will see you guys in a little while. And as always, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more content. Um, I will see you guys in a little while uh, when I'm up in the tree and it's a little bit lighter out. after 11 right now. I'm about to head out. I haven't seen anything since I got up actually in the tree, which I kind of figured was going to happen, but I'm still pretty pissed about what happened earlier. Um, yeah, still don't really have much to say about it. Should have got out of here earlier. That's about it. Um, I don't know. At least I know there's deer out here now. Um, for sure. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm gonna get going. Pack up. And I don't know where exactly I'm gonna go tomorrow. If it's gonna be back on the same land, probably. Um, I don't know if it's gonna be on this in the same spot necessarily, or more on the other side of the property. I'll just kind of have to wait and think it over, see what I feel like doing. I could move 
you know, back one way, that way, or that way, um, or completely on the other side. So that's something I'm gonna have to think about for tomorrow. But that's gonna be it for now. I'm gonna get out of here and uh, see you again tomorrow. Well, I got it. It's about 7.10 right now. I just shot a small buck. Um, yeah, pretty happy about it. Pretty small though, so... <clears throat> I don't know. I just wanted to get something, you know. I don't know how many more times I'm going to be out here. But, shot him. 25, 25 yards away. He came in here pretty fast. I used the uh, <coughs> doe, <coughs> doe ester skull and he came running in. He stopped. <coughs> stopped and I took a shot. Um, might not have been the best shot placement, but I think he is on the ground. Not too far from here. So that was pretty exciting. First deer I shot with a bow and fuck. Long, long time. Feels feels pretty damn good. I will say. So I'm gonna sit here for oh probably an hour. And go down and try to find them. Nah, uh, yeah, that'll be that. Get them out of here, get them home. Hell oh, yeah. Well guys, we got her on the ground. Turned out to be a doe, but uh, it was too dark to see the lack of antlers that it had on it. Thought it had like, it was just a little fork, but probably better that it's a doe. Um, here she is. Took two shots to, <laughs> to kill it. Shot it first, let's see, where is it? Oh, here. And then I had to basically get close enough, stalk it, get close enough, or I could shoot it again. It was still alive after three hours of laying there, it was still alive. So when I got close, it got up and ran away. So I stalked it and got close enough so I could get a kill shot on it. Got her right there. And uh, she's down, filling up the freezer, filling a tag, feels good. Um, so I still got my buck tag now, which is great. Um, so you could maybe get that big one that's still out here somewhere. Uh, all right, I'm gonna get to cutting this thing out and uh, yeah, we'll uh, see you guys in a little while. Okay guys, so I'm back at home now. Uh, just gonna kind of recap here a little bit of uh, the day. Um, so I'll let you guys know what all happened out there. <clears throat> so. So it was it was pretty wild. I mean, I'll say I'll say that. So um, I got up in the tree uh, before seven. Uh, probably I was probably up there at like six forty ish. So <clears throat> I got there at six forty, and then I sat there for about twenty twenty five minutes. And I saw that deer come in. I, I heard it. I didn't see it. So I. I uh, used the little can call, uh, estrus bleat call, and came coming towards me. <clears throat> and then I could obviously see it at that point. And um, it was, so I was facing this direction like I am now, we'll say I'm facing this way. It was <clears throat> coming in from, it was coming basically head on. Uh, not quite head on though, but it was off to the side a little bit, but it was coming like, you know, perpendicular to me, the way I was facing. <clears throat> so it got back to about even with me in the tree, about even with my tree. 
um, parallel with me. So <clears throat> at that point, I had a decent shot on it, and it stopped. So I took the shot. <clears throat> I thought it was a buck. I thought it was a a small, like a just like a fork buck spike. Um, but it turned out to be a doe. But I thought it, I still thought it was a buck at this point. So after I shot it, I saw it run off. I saw it run off with my arrow in it. So I'm like, okay, good news. Didn't miss the shot. So uh, um, so it ran off, and then I didn't see quite where it went. Um, I know it didn't go far. I heard it fall down <clears throat> and just lay there. And then I don't know, ten. 15 minutes later it got up from where it was and walked a few steps and then fell down on the ground again and then I could see it from there <clears throat> um, at that point. So I was just watching it through the binoculars for a little while and it was just kind of looking around, you know, whatever, just laying on the ground. So I'm like, all right, I'll <clears throat> stay here and hunt a little while. Um, I'm obviously not going to go down after it right now this soon. So. Uh, I was waiting, um, I was just hunting for another few hours. I saw one other, I don't know if it was a buck or doe, uh, it was too thick for me to tell. It was through a bunch of green, thick brush. So I couldn't really tell, all I could see was its body moving, I couldn't see its head at all. <clears throat> so, uh, a couple hours passed, it was 10 o'clock at this point, I'm like, alright, I'm gonna get down and, uh, go clean that deer up and get him out of here. So I walk over and uh, it was laying there. Well, I started walking around. I was looking for it because <clears throat> I thought I knew where it was, like directly where it was when I got down from my stand. So I walked over there. Couldn't find it right away. So I was just like kind of walking around looking for it. <clears throat> and then I uh, finally found it and it was staring right at me. And this is three hours after I had shot it. <coughs> it was still alive, staring right at me, head up and everything, laying on the ground. I'm like, ah, oh, shit. What do I do? I'm, pro I'm probably like 20, no, I was more than that. I was probably, say, 30, 35 yards away. And I left my bow at my stand. I didn't want to move hardly anymore because it was just staring me down. And I... I didn't know if it was going to get up and run, if it saw me move anymore, or what. Um, so I took out my pistol, which I was carrying with me, uh, my little Snub Nose 38 Special, which sight radius on that thing is about that. So not, not great for shooting anything over about 10 yards. So I uh, took the shot. Tried to finish it off, ended up hitting it in the leg, and then it got up. <clears throat> I'm like, oh shit, no way. So it got up, started limping away. I'm like, oh, I'm like no way this thing is gonna live. Like, there's no way. So I'm just standing there watching it. Um, what kind of limp away? <clears throat> it's going like incredibly slow at this point. Um, so I got probably another, say, 60-ish yards from me, where I was standing now, or from where, uh, it was laying the first time I walked up there after it got up. So, I went another, like, 60 yards, and I'm like, oh, fuck, what do I do, what do I do? So I'm like, if it's been alive for three hours... And there was really no blood trail. I mean, it could still stay alive for another who knows how long. So I had to somehow get it like a kill shot or knife it or something, slit its throat. So I <clears throat> uh, took my knife out, out of my sheath, had that thing ready, went back to my stand, grabbed my bow. And then it took me about a half hour to walk those 60 yards because I was being so slow and quiet, trying to be, um, you know, as careful as possible not to let it see me. 
and I finally got up to about 15 yards away and took the shot with my bow, buried it right in the lungs, and at, at that point I knew I knew it was done for. It just basically uh, fell down this hill a little bit onto like the river bank, and I was just laying there, and I could see its head. I could just see the um, its two ears uh, over the bank, and its head was just swaying back and forth. And I knew it was just a matter of time before I was going to die. And that uh, <clears throat> I finally saw its head fall down. And like, all right, we got her. Um, so yeah, that that uh, was good to finish it off. You know, I didn't want to obviously getting away, especially so wounded. Um, so yeah, that was obviously great that I killed it, but also great that we don't have a wounded deer walking around um because you know you, you hate to see that happen so yeah that was uh that was an interesting time i will say that um at, right now i'm having a little celebratory uh crown royal um that's pretty much gonna be it for this video, uh, all in all, a pretty good day. Very weird, never had anything like that happen. Don't want anything like that to happen again. Um, but yeah. Oh, and then we got it, when we got it home, we were looking around inside, and my, si my first arrow was still in it. It just broke it off. So at least I got that broadhead back, even if it did snap my arrow. Obviously I got the second arrow back. Broadheads are both fine and good shape. <clears throat> but uh, yeah, we uh, got on the board, punched the tag, yeah, a little bit of meat in the freezer. So uh, yeah, feeling pretty good. We got a serious, like, uh, deer camp coming up. I got more days off work in the next couple weeks, so I'm going to be trying to, uh, you know, get at least one more then. And then we got gun season and muzzle loader after that, <clears throat> so uh, we'll be uh, coming at you with more of this and this stuff. Also, just going to quickly say, um, I did not get uh, the first shot on video because it was too dark and I didn't have uh, I didn't have time to really set up uh, get my camera on the uh, tripod I had the tripod wrapped around my bow uh, one of the limbs so that would have been pretty cool if you guys could have saw that but it was too dark anyway <clears throat> so that was you know is what it is and then uh, the second time I mean I could have been taking a video of that but uh, I don't, it just didn't seem like, you know, the right time to be doing that when you got a wounded animal laying there. Um, <clears throat> I just wanted to, you know, focus on, you know, putting it out of its misery at that point. So I didn't really, I wasn't too concerned with getting that on video. Um, maybe you guys would have liked to see that. I don't know. Uh, <clears throat> if you would have liked to see that, leave a comment, I guess. Um, but yeah, that's going to be it now for sure. Wrapping this one up. Great, uh, well, I wouldn't say a great day, but good day, good day. We got one down. Um, so yeah, going to be more videos coming in the future. Uh, remember to like, comment, and subscribe. Hope you enjoyed, and we'll see you on the next one.